Hi, I'm Andrea and this is Yoga Lotties, a 45 minute class, a fusion of yoga and Pilates together. Thank you so much for joining me. You'll notice I've got a wee bit of a wrist injury today and I'm using some um, push-up bars so it helps to take pressure off the wrist. So if you do have a wrist injury from maybe doing too much yoga like myself, um, feel free to use like some dumbbells or a push-up bar to take pressure off of your wrists. Um, yoga is actually quite strengthening for your wrists, but I've been doing too much of it. So something called overuse, overtraining, created a little bit of um, too much hyperextension in my wrist. So be sure to click subscribe below, little red box, subscribe to my channel, and comment below. Questions, comments are always welcome. Enjoy the class. Start with your knees underneath your hips and your wrist under your shoulders. Take a nice big exhale as you round your spine, tucking, tucking, tucking your chin. Inhale as you gently arch, just bringing some warmth, waking up your body. Exhale, rounding the spine, tucking the chin. Inhale as you gently arch. Now we're just going to move this. So as you round the spine, push your hips back towards your heels. As you arch, coming forward, shoulders over wrists, not beyond the wrists. Round the spine, pushing hips back towards your heels. And then slowly back up, gentle arching. Just warming up through the spine, warming up through the hips, pushing hips back. And rise, bringing awareness to your body. Exhale, pushing hips back. Inhale, rise, and we're going to hold here. Navel to spine, go and extend your right leg and your left arm holding in a pointer. Right leg, left arm holding here. Lengthening fingertip to toe and let's really warm the spine. Elbow to knee, exhaling, looking towards your knee. Inhale, reaching away. Exhale, elbow to knee. Reach and stretch away. So this is a great warm up for the spine. A great warm up for the muscles that protect the spine, the paraspinals. That's what we're working here. So you're really pulling belly to spine. And then as you stretch away, give your glute a nice little squeeze. Keeping hips nice and square. Eye gaze down. Nice long safe neck position. The rain more. Exhale. Inhale. Beautiful. Exhale. Bring it in. Extend. And last one. Now hold that leg extended, bring your hands down onto the mat. So that leg is extended, you're going to tuck toe up that bottom leg, lift the bottom knee off and come into a three-legged dog. So push that toe up and then bend your knee in, in, in. The bottom heel is lifted, you can always come onto the bottom knee for this. You're going to bring your knee towards the elbow coming into a tiger pose. That's yoga. You're going to lift the knee up to the sky, three-legged dog. Again, bringing knee to nose. Tiger pose, lift belly to spine. Once again, lifting up, holding, bringing knee to nose. Tiger pose, looking forward, step the foot between the hands. Help it if it didn't get there. Plant the back heel, and we rise to warrior one. Bend the front knee, square your hips and your chest to the wall in front of you. And then as you exhale, sink nice and low. So as you push down through that front heel, feel stability. Maybe you can sink your hips towards the earth a little bit more. We're just gonna come into some beautiful arms in our warrior one. You're just gonna open the arms, lean back slightly. And then as you exhale, sweep the arms forward, overhead, fingertips tap, come low in your legs. Inhale, open the arms wide. And exhale, sweep the arms forward and up, fingertips tap. Once again, inhale, open. And exhale, reach. You're going to hold the arms up and then extend your warrior one. Dip your chest towards your thigh. Hold here. Let's take three deep yoga breaths in through the belly. Out. Again, inhale, lengthening. Exhale, sink in. Once again, inhale. As you exhale, bring the hands down to the floor. Frame the foot. The back heel lifts. Step back. Find your downward facing dog. So let's just stay here in a down dog for a moment. Push the heels down, tilt the tailbone up, push your chest towards your thigh, squeeze your thighs straight. Lift both heels up, squeezing the thighs straight, and both heels down, exhaling. Inhale, heels up, and exhale, heels down. Once again, I'll lift those heels up, up, up. 
and exhale down hold lower to the knees softly we repeat the sequence four steps knees and hips are perfectly stacked go ahead and extend left leg and right arm left leg right arm so perfect long line fingertip to toe square your hips pull your lower belly up towards your spine here we go elbow to knee slowly extend reach away squeeze the glute exhale elbow to knee so great strengthener for those muscles that support your spine so as you extend give your glute a squeeze and activate those muscles keep your belly lifted up towards the spine the whole time four more of these exhaling elbow to knee extend and reach and three extend good and two more perfect and last one now hold that leg extended keep that leg up bring both hands down make sure your hands are under your shoulders tuck toe of that bottom leg lift the bottom knee off and then come into a three-legged dog bent knee of that top leg bottom heels lifted lift the knee up towards the sky take a big inhale then as you exhale come to tiger pose shoulders over wrists look towards your knees around your spine inhale three-legged dog knee up to sky bottom heel up lift 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 and then exhale tiger pose belly to spine once again lifting the knee up squeeze your glute open your hip and then as you exhale bring knee to nose tiger pose look forward and step the foot between the hands plant your back heel and rise warrior one bend that front knee nice and low make sure knee lines up second and third toe push down through that back heel squeeze the glute of that back leg and then re-square your body to the wall in front of you so a strengthening pose let's come nice and low into that front leg push down through that back heel back heel is at 45 degrees beautiful arms we're going to open the arms wide exhaling inhale fingertips up overhead and a little fingertip tap exhale opening wide inhale reach and lengthen once again exhale open inhale reach lengthen and hold take a full in breath and then as you exhale dip chest towards your thigh extended warrior one lots of work in those thighs take three deep yoga breaths in and out really push that front heel inhale exhale once again full breath exhale and rise face me coming into goddess pose toes out hands to your heart sink low into hips all right so settle into your hips make sure ankle and knee are in line shoulders back all right align shoulders over your hips and then maybe into those hips a little more lift both heels up and down heels up and down keep the belly lifted heels and lower great job four more you can do it no tipping in the chest keep the chest up three and two now last one you're going to hold this one up do the best you can stay there steady your eyes extend your arms overhead and exhale hands to your heart again extend the arms overhead and exhale to your heart just one more of those extend and reach and then exhale hands to heart let's give those legs a little break extend your legs rotate toes to me bend the knees softly slide hands down the thighs and just find a prostrate a pose wide leg forward fold holding there left hand to the floor midline of body right arm opens to the sky little spinal twist hold inhale exhale bring it down switch sides left hand to the sky open chest to your left wall open up exhale back down other side wide leg twist holding here inhale and exhale down once again other side open up little spinal twist and back down 
bend your knees, slowly roll up. You can bring hands to thighs if you need a little help. And then just find your warrior two position. So let's bend the right knee and the left leg is super straight. Make sure your ankles are about as wide as your wrist. Sink low into hips, push down through outer edge of left foot. So the knife edge of that foot to bring stability to the body. And then as you sink your hip bones towards the earth, try to get right thigh parallel to the floor, but then square body to knee. Shoulder blades down and back, like you're pushing down on the air. Take a full in breath. And as you exhale, sink lower into the hips. Lift your front heel, the arms lift. Lower the heel, the arms lower. Lift that right heel, arms lift. And lower. Once again, lift the heel. And lower. This time we come back into a peaceful warrior. Left arm sliding down your thigh. Right arm reaching overhead. Take a full in breath. A full out breath. Once again, deep inhale. Exhale, coming lower. Inhale, rise out of the legs. Other side, left toe and right toe. So a little bit of a tick-tock. Bend that front knee. Let's first get our form. Pushing down through the knife edge of that right foot, climbing energy up to your right glute. So turn it on there and then those hips down. Again, eventual goal to get that thigh parallel to the floor. So nice and low. Shoulders align over the hips and then squeeze those shoulder blades back just slightly, activating those posture muscles. Maybe you can lower the hips just a little bit more. Left heel lifts, arms lift, inhale. Exhale, lower the heel, lower the arms. Good. Left heel lifts, arms lift. And lower, keep those hips low. Once again, left heel up. And down, hold. Coming back, peaceful warrior. Right hand sliding down the thigh. Find the C shape in the spine. Open and lift the rib from the hip. Take a full in breath. A full out breath coming deeper. Again, a full in breath. And a full out breath, even deeper. Inhale, rise. Once again, we come into goddess pose, but we bring the feet just a little bit closer to your sinking hips down. Hands to your heart. Shoulder blades down and back and lower hips. Lift the heels and lower. Last one of these. Shoulder blades down and back. Beautiful strengthening pose. How low can you lower the hips? How high can you lift the heels without tipping your chest forward? Beautiful. Lift and lower once again. Lift. And lower. Now we're going to stay here. Just bring a little posture work into the game. So sweep the shoulder blades back. Release. Squeeze back. Release. Add the hips. Down. Halfway up. Down. Halfway up. Squeeze the shoulder blades. And up. Sink into the hips. Good. Four more. And three. And two. Last one, excellent job. Bring those feet hip distance apart. Your right leg is gonna come behind you, right leg behind. Dip, I'm gonna turn the diagonal. Dip your chest over your thigh slightly, point the toe, arabesque kicks. Up. Two, three, don't touch the floor if you can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Just that right leg, three, belly's lifted, soft bend in your left leg. Six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10 more. Good, 10, shoulders drop down from the ears, nine, and eight, soft bend in that standing leg, seven, and six, great job, five more, and four, good, three, 
and two, you're doing great. Now you're gonna hold the leg extended and come into a warrior three, beautiful yoga pose. Begin to dip your chest down towards the floor, lift your thigh up. You can hold onto the wall if you need help. Just simply hold it there for four, three, two, and rise. Oh, standing leg. How was that? Give it a little shake. All right, other leg. So now right leg in front, left leg behind, arms down, shift weight to your front foot. The back leg behind lifts off straight leg. Keep that belly lifted. Straight leg lifts, 20 arabesque kicks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep that leg super straight. Once again, 10, nine, eight. Steady your eyes, six, five, four, three, two, hold this one, and we bend, extend, two, and three. Standing leg is getting a lot of work here. Good, and five, we're getting balance, we're getting core, we're getting hammies, we're getting glute, six, seven, and eight, and nine, and 10 more, steady the eyes, you can do it. 10, soft bend in that standing leg, nine, and eight, keep those arms active and behind you. And a six, and five, last four, three, you got this, last two. All right, standing leg is going to be dying, you can do it, warrior three, dip your chest down, float the thigh up. Point that thigh up to the sky. That bottom leg is taking a lot of load. You can do it, stay strong. Stay here. One more breath, inhale and exhale, slowly rise. Oh, those legs are break, awesome job. Now, just gonna simply reach forward into a forward fold, releasing through that lower back. Lift your belly to your spine, let go through the neck and the shoulders. Holding there, just leave it a little bit of a Release through lower back. Now, stepping back, downward facing dog. So legs again, hip distance apart, hands shoulder width apart. Lower your heels, squeeze your thighs straight as you can. And again, you're gonna lift both heels and lower. Again, lift the heels and lower. Two more. Lift the heels and lower. Last one. Beautiful stretch on the back of the legs as you hold. And you push the heels down towards the mat. Tilt the tailbone bone up away from the heels and allow your shoulder blades to come together. Open your armpits, take one more big inhale. Then as you exhale, tuck your chin, roll through your spine and come into a high plank posture. Holding here in your high plank, squeeze your thighs straight. All right, we're going for eight chaturangas. Come on to your knees for these, because these are tough. All right, so you're gonna low, uncurl your toes if you can. Lower your chest, elbows, skim the body, exhaling down. Inhaling up, belly's lifted. Exhale down. And up, nice job. If it's too much for you, just come down less, right? Or you can also push your hips back and then just bring forearms down. There's your easier option. And four. Come a little bit lower for these last four. And up, good. And three, keep the belly lifted. Great for those triceps. Two, and last one, hold this one down for four, three, two. Come all the way down onto your tummy now. All the way down. Maybe cobra, hands to your ribs, elbows tuck in, pointed to the ceiling. Legs are hip distance, lengthen back of the neck. Exhale, prepare. Inhale, we come up, baby cobra, hold. Squeezing bum squeezing your shoulder blades together, hold, and then slowly lower. All right, we're gonna add on. Gonna come up, hold baby cobra, holding there. Right arm reaches up overhead, draw it in. Left arm, overhead, and in. Right arm, overhead, holding your baby cobra, working through these back muscles. So the back muscles are holding you up in this baby cobra, and you're reaching the arm up, and back in. Squeeze those shoulder blades together the whole time and squeeze your glute. Now maybe we can float those legs up for these last few. Legs off the mat if you can. Lengthening back of the neck for that spinal extension. Keep those 
shoulder blades together. One more each side. And last one. All right, switching to Pilates. Palms to the mat, elbows tuck in. Lift your thighs off the mat. Legs open, close, open, close. Beautiful. Lengthen back of the neck. Tuck those elbows in. Squeeze the glute. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold those legs wide. Point the toes. Legs lift. Eight, seven, and six, five, and four, three, two. And hold it up. Push yourself back into downward facing dog. Hips high, heels down. Push your tailbone up and towards the sky and ground down through those heels. Beautiful. Hold there, feel a nice little stretch in your back, in the back of those legs. Push the knees towards the wall behind you. Take one more slow breath in. Long breath out. Tuck your chin, roll through your spine, coming back into your high plank posture. Hold there. Chaturanga, we come onto the knees and we lower slowly. Exhale, Chaturanga. Come all the way to the belly, push the floor away, coming up into baby cobra or full upward facing dog, lifting the thighs off the mat, pushing through tops of the feet, squeezing your bum, holding there. Look over your right shoulder and just squeeze your glutes. Good. And look over your left shoulder, keep squeezing. Lower down, hold all the way down on the mat. Rest your forehead to your hands. Bring your legs wide as your mat, bend your knees, big toes touch, flex your feet. Get those knees nice and wide. Now you can float your rib cage up for a little bit more here. Keep those heels glued together, your thighs lift up, up, up. Keep reaching crown away, keep reaching those shoulder blades together. Push your heels towards the sky, but super glue those heels together. Great work for the glute. Strengthening muscles for your hips and lower back. Keep squeezing heels together. Eight and seven. Lift a little higher if you can for the last five. And four, three, and two. Now hold this one up, hold it there. Point the toes, extend the legs. Flex and bend. Point, extend. Flex, bend, point, open, flex, close. Try to keep the heels, the, the thighs off the mat the whole time. Thighs off the mat, open, and close. Two more, thumbs on fire, that's good. Bring it in, last one. Holy moly, that's tough. All right, now you're gonna hold it out and hold it out for three, two, awesome, let's release. That back, child's pose back. Oh, good work. Hips to heels, hands reach forward. Take a slow, long breath in. Releasing breath out. Once again, inhale. And exhale. All right, coming into a side plank facing me. So on your bottom forearm, hand to the sky. So you're on the bottom knee or off the bottom knee, staggered feet. We're gonna lift the hips. Eight, seven, and six, five, four, three, two, and once more for eight, seven, and six, five, and four, three, two, and hold it. Lower down onto your hip, extend your bottom arm, lie on that bottom arm, bend the bottom knee, point the toe, rotate the thigh towards the sky. We kick up, flex down, point up, flex down. Three, good, nice big kicks, but with control. Five, sideline leg series, six, and seven, and eight more, make it big, full range of motion. Eight, and seven, flex, and six, and five, good, and four more, three, and two. All right, that was our two sets of eight. Now you're gonna bring that leg down, point the toe, Rotate your femur bone towards me. Ride the bike forward and back. Now you're gonna point and flex. So point me in, 
flex, kick back, your hands on the floor for support. Beautiful, nice, big range of motion with that foot. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. All right, now we're gonna reverse direction, so point the toe, kick the leg behind, bring it to the front, and you're just gonna point the toe the entire time. Point the toe, leg goes behind, and all the way forward, and three, squeeze the glute on the way back, and four, good job, and five, almost there, and six, and seven, and eight. All right, superstars, this is it. Leg is at hip level. Climb up onto that bottom forearm again. No slouch, you wanna lift. Flex that foot, two sets of eight, seven, six, five, four, this is where you're feeling it. Once again, upper glute, eight and seven, six and five, four, three, your finale, two sets, pointed toes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, once again, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, that was amazing. We're gonna do it on the other side with no breaks. You can do it. Switch sides. All right, on the bottom forearm, remember those side planks to begin. So on the bottom knees, totally fine, or extend the leg, staggered feet. You're going to use your side abs, lift your hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and once more for eight, seven and six, five and four, three, two, and hold. All right, lower down, bottom arm slides underneath. Rotate your thigh externally towards the sky, hand to floor. Point and flex. Point up, flex down. Three, use control in both directions. And five, relax that bottom leg. And six, and seven. Keep that leg super straight. One more set of eight. So a hard point and a hard flex. Getting that ankle activation, articulation. Good. Three, and four. Straight leg. And five, and six and seven, and eight. All right, come down, rotate your femur bone to me, ride the bike, knee in, and all the way back. Let's add that foot. So it's point, flex, point, knee in, flex, kick around. Good, no floppy legs, use control and full range of motion. Four, flex, kick around, and five, Flex, kick around, and six, good, and seven, and eight. All right, now we change directions. Go in reverse, point the toe the entire time. And two, so just riding the bike backwards. Three, and four, and five, nice big range of motion six and seven and eight awesome jump keep that leg up come up to that bottom forearm elbow under shoulder flex the foot and two sets of eight seven that's what you're feeling at six five and four three two slightly higher and eight seven six five and four three two and hold point the toe two sets eight seven six five four three two once more for eight seven six five and four three and two and hold it hold it there squeeze the bum feel that amazing four three two awesome job all right come on to your back Hug your knees into your chest first. And just give a little rock side to side. 
All right, we're just gonna go toes to the sky, hands to the sky, imprint your spine, pull belly up and in towards the spine, point the toes, legs open, flex, close. Point, open, flex, close. Lower abs, thighs, adductors, abductors. Point, and flex. Squeeze your abdominals the entire time. Lower belly, dropping down towards the spine. Good, open and close. Squeeze your thighs straight if that bothers your back. Bend your knees and bring your hands underneath your thigh, underneath your bum. Four more and three and last two. Last one. Awesome job. Hold it in, point those toes, and then open your legs wide. You're gonna reach just your right hand between your legs, left hand behind the head, little pulses up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Flex your feet, switch arms. Go, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two. Come on down. Hip bridge, bring heels to hips, hip distance apart, palms to the mat. As you exhale, imprint your spine, squeeze your tummy, tilt pelvis to ceiling, and slowly, slowly climb up into a hip bridge. All right, let's just do a hold hip bridge. So toes, knees, and hips are in alignment. Squeeze your glute and climb up onto those shoulder blades and perhaps clasp the hands beneath you. <clears throat> Push your palms together if you can, and then slide up a little bit higher onto those shoulder blades Keep pushing sit bones towards the back of the knee as you hold here. Right, so this is a great opening for the front body. Activation for the back body. Take a full in breath. Exhale, climb up a little higher onto those shoulder blades, really squeezing your bum. Feeling the opening in that front body. Take two more breaths, make it a little bit bigger. Exhale, lift higher, hold. Once again, take a big inhale. And exhale. Now release the hands to the mat. Hold it there. Front leg closest to me. Bring the knee into the chest. Toe to the ceiling. Lower 45 degrees. Reset to the mat. Back leg in. Then toe. Leg 45. Reset. Front leg knee. Toe. 45. Reset. Back leg knee. Toe, 45, reset, keep the hips up, knee, and toe, 45, reset, last one, knee, and toe, 45, reset. Now reestablish your hip bridge, climb up, and you're just gonna hold here, squeeze your bum, lengthen that line from knee to shoulder, hold there, squeeze, 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 hold four, three, two, slowly lower, push each vertebrae back down and take your time. All right, roll on up. You can roll to one side to help yourself up. We're we'll just rolling up. We're gonna go into a boat pose. So I'm gonna start with your hands behind your thighs. Sitting tall on your sit bones, take a full in breath. Then as you exhale, allow your sit bones to roll forward. Hollow the tummy and just come tippy toes to floor. Now we're just gonna hold here. So feel the abdominal scoop. So the activation in your abs, holding you strong and stable. Squeeze your knees together and then slowly extend your arms. So traditional yoga pose, we're just gonna let the strength come all from the core. Left one toe and then the other toe, holding in your boat. Squeeze knees together and then just breathe. Feel strength from the core. Holding there, or maybe extend the right leg and bend, and the left leg and bend, right leg and bend, left leg, bend, right leg and left. Once more, each side, right and left. Now hold both legs straight or both legs bent. Toes to floor is your option. Holding here for four, three, two. Release those legs. Reach your hands behind you. 
fingertips towards your bum or knuckles here if you have a wrist issue like me we're going into reverse high plank so you can lift your hips a tiny bit or lift your hips even more opening the chest reverse high plank so squeeze your bum opening up great activation for back body holding here for four three two lower down slowly back onto your back legs in tabletop position back into our pilates so legs 290 degrees, one at the knee, one at the hip, interlace your hands behind the head, imprint the spine, push lower back into the mat, take the full in breath. And as you exhale, you're gonna curl up as high as you can, extend, bend, lower down. So we curl up, both legs out, bend and lower. <sighs> extend, keep breathing. Let's add the arm so it's up, front arm reach, hands back and lower up back hand reach hands back and lower up front hand reach back and lower up back hand reach now if you're advanced you can do both arms or just stick with me for the one arm supporting the head and lower up reach back and lower first lift as high as you can then reach, get off those shoulder blades, lower, lift, full reach, hands back, and four more, lift high as you can, then go for the reach, lift off those shoulder blades, up, reach, back, and two more, up, reach, and once more, so up, reach, back now you're gonna come up and you're gonna hold this one up extend those legs 45 degrees or towards the sky rotate thighs externally beat your heels tap, tap. now you can bend your knees you can lower the legs to make it harder lift them up to make it easier you can lower head and shoulders feel the lovely burn in your abs eight seven six five four three two awesome job come on down hug it in briefly take a full in breath and a full out breath. One more here for abs. Palms to the mat, tabletop legs. Imprint your spine. We're gonna bicycle the legs. One and two. One and two. Stay in imprint. Lower back stays connected to the mat. Ribs are closed. Collarbones are open. Great one for sculpting and toning the thighs for your lower abs. Make sure you feel your lower back connected to the mat. So lower to the mat, it will be a little bit harder. Toes towards the sky, a little bit easier. Eight more, and seven, and six, and five. Last four, three, and two. Now reverse, ride the bike backwards. Reverse, yes. A little bit different, a little bit more difficult. You feel that a little bit more in your lower abs. Now, can you keep the ribs closed, right? So knit your ribs together, collarbones open, lower back stays pressed to the mat. And out, out, out. Eight and seven and six. Last five and four, three and two. Ooh, good job, hug it in, have a little pause, inhale. Exhale, roll over and come into a downward facing dog, facing the side. So tuck the toes, lift your hips high and hold. Open armpit spines are nice and straight. Take the inhale, tuck your chin, roll through your spine, coming back into your high plank. Shoulders are directly over your hips. You're gonna hold here, your front knee closest to knee pumps in for eight times. Eight, seven, six, five, four three two and hold reset switch legs for eight seven six five four three and hold reset to plank chaturanga toes or knees elbows hug the body exhale inhale baby cobra or full upward facing dog pushing through the tops of the feet opening the chest opening the collarbones exhaling downward facing dog Really push 
those heels down, tilt the tailbone up, lengthen spine. Let's go for one more vinyasa flow. Inhale, roll through the spine, coming into high plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, toes or knees, elbows hug the body. Then we push the floor away, maybe cobra or a full upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. You're gonna bend both knees and your right foot lunges through your hands. Hold here, plant your back heel, we come into pyramid pose. Pyramid pose, so the back heel's down, 45, the front leg is straight, if you can get it, and your hands frame that front foot. All right, so just pausing here for a nice little stretch for the back of that right leg, pyramid pose. Dipping chest down towards your thigh, take a full in breath. And as you exhale, close that space between the chest and the knee. Go ahead, take another slow inhale. And exhale. Once again, inhale. And exhale. Bend the front knee, push that back leg away. Holding here in a low lunge twist, so drop the back knee. Uncurl the toe, rotate away from me as you reach that top hand to the sky, opening the chest, inhale, exhale, let the hip drop, two more breaths, inhale, exhale, once again, a full in breath, a long out breath, hand slides to lower back, wrapping your back, and find more rotation, spinal rotation. Inhale, exhale, rotate. Inhale, and exhale. Once again, inhale, and exhale, rotate facing the front. Stepping back, once again, downward facing dog. So tuck toe, lift the knee, stepping back and find your down dog. So standing with the heels hip distance apart, push the heels down, tilt the tailbone up, squeeze your thighs straight as you can. Let's take one vinyasa flow. Inhale, roll through your spine, coming into your high plank posture. Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows hug the body as you lower. And we push the floor away, pushing through the tops of the feet, opening up the collarbones, exhaling, hips high, heels down, downward dog. Lift the heels, bend the knees, crouch posture, look forward, your left foot lunges through your hands, find your pyramid pose. So plant your back heel 45 degrees, hands frame that front foot, dip your chest down and towards that thigh. So if you need to have a little micro bend in that front leg, eventually goes to straighten your front leg, chest dips down, inhale, and exhale. <sighs> Really pushing that knee away and behind you. Slow breath in, a long breath out. Good. Be pushing the knee down. Inhale and exhale. Closing the gap between chest to thigh. One more slow, long breath in. Releasing breath out. Bend the front knee, the back heel lifts, coming into our low lunge twist, land the back knee, back hand under the shoulder, get a little space, maybe push your foot out to the side a little bit, and then rotate towards that knee, reaching top hand to the sky, opening the chest, inhale. Exhale, dip your hip down, awesome stretch for the hip and the spine, full in breath, find length, full out breath, find depth. Allow that hip to lower, good, inhale. And exhale, wrap your back, roll the top shoulder back, allow the hip to drop even more. Beautiful, slow breath in, feel your body. Cleanse on the out breath. <sighs> Connect to you on the in breath, really connecting. Letting go on that out breath. <sighs> Once again, full long breath in. Releasing out breath. All right, now heel to that foot back in. You're gonna step back to downward facing dog here. So first make sure that the hands are under the shoulders. Tuck toe, lift knee of that back leg. Stepping back, downward facing dog. 
but this one is a U of S down dog of the whole class. So push those heels down, tilt your tailbone up, push your chest towards your thighs, and then feel the stretch in your calves, your Achilles, right down the back of the legs. How straight can you get your legs? It's an active stretch, so push your thighs away, push your knees away, and then push your chest towards your thighs. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Keep pushing those knees away. Take a full in breath, a full out breath. Once again, a full in breath, a full out breath. Tuck your chin, roll through your spine. Once again, coming into your high plank posture. Just gonna hold here for one last activation. Hold it there, hold it there. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze shoulder blades together. Four, three, two. And you're going to lower to your knees and you're going to come down for a sphinx pose. So come all the way onto your tummy and then draw your elbows into your ribs, palms to the mat. Sphinx pose, we're just going to stretch the core, spinal extension. Lift the ribs, lengthen back of the neck, reach the crown away, tuck those elbows in and squeeze the glute. Holding there. We're just holding for three, two, and lower. Once again, come on up. Forearms to the mat. Sorry, it's forearms to the mat. Then we lift. That was maybe Cobra, what I was doing. All right, so this is your space pose. So it's forearms to the mat. Reach the crown away and squeeze the glute. <clears throat> so this is a stretch in the core, activation in your back. Holding here for four. You're squeezing the glute and come back for a child's pose. Spread the knees wide, big toes touch. <clears throat> Excuse me, reaching the hands away, hips all the way to the heels. Take a full long breath in, releasing out breath. Good, so reaching your hands now to the, towards me, right towards me, and then push your back hip towards your back heel. Take three deep breaths in and out. Inhale, exhale. Great stretch for your back and your hip. One more breath in and out. Slowly walk your hands away from me now to the back of the mat. Allow your hip to drop towards your heel. Rest your head on the mat if that feels good. And just take three deep breaths in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Once again, inhale. And exhale. Take your time coming up. And then just go ahead and face me for a side bend stretch. Last little stretch. So left leg out, right heel to inner thigh. Put something on if you tend to get cold. You want to hold on to that heat, really important. So right arm up, take a full in breath, and then exhale, see shape over. Grab on whatever you can. Right, come into your breath and your depth and your internal being. Here we go. Inhale. Let go. Just let go of tension. Let go of anything that is holding you back today. Inhale. Exhale, coming down. Soften that space on the whole right side body. Slow in breath. Long out breath. Two more coming deeper. Inhale. Exhale. Once again, inhale. Exhale, coming down. Right up and other side. Right leg out, left heel to inner thigh. <clears throat> left arm up, take a deep inhale. Exhale, coming over. So grab onto whatever you can grab. Roll top shoulder back, find depth in your breath. In, let it out. Pull yourself down, inhale. Exhale. Feeling that space on the left side body. Slow, long breath in. Releasing breath out. Good, two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Coming even deeper. One more slow breath in. 
long breath out. Beautiful. All right, let's come on up. Just sit comfortably. However you're comfortable, just give your shoulders a big roll. Feel that that you've created in this time that you have devoted to you. Let's take a full, long in-breath. Reconnected to the inside, out of the thoughts, bringing your hands to your heart. Fill yourself with love, compassion, and kindness. Bowing chin towards your chest. Namaste. Thank you, lovely friends.